Now, there are definitely times in all of our lives when we're forced to find solutions to difficult problems and we don't know what to do or where to start. So how do you deal with that? Do you avoid the issue altogether? Do you procrastinate? Maybe you just dive into the work and you get going and then you can't find a solution and you get so frustrated that you just stop and walk away. Now, don't be too hard on yourself because this happens to all of us. It's happened to me and I've been a creative professional for more than 40 years. So if you continue to struggle, maybe it's time to consider a different approach. Now, I know how difficult it is to work outside your comfort zone. It's challenging and there are no easy answers and it can be extraordinarily difficult. But have you ever wondered how some people in life seem to always come up with the right solutions regardless of what situation they find themselves in? The difference between people who succeed at being creative on demand and those that don't are the ones who succeed are committed to finding a solution and they don't quit, they don't stop until they find the best solution possible. Now, let's take Steve Jobs as an example. He founded Apple Computer and then was fired by his board and then he came back to create and build the most successful company in history. At age 22, Walt Disney was working at a newspaper and his editor fired him because he said he wasn't creative enough. And Steven Spielberg was twice rejected by the University of Southern California Film School. Now, these people are really not that much different than you or I. The difference is in their level of commitment to finding the best solution possible. So how did they do it? Well, in a word, they knew how to succeed. Now, chances are you and I will never be as successful as a Steve Jobs or a Steven Spielberg. But I am convinced that you are capable of being a creative problem solver. And I'm confident that you can improve your creative problem solving skills if you have a process you can rely on to support you. Now, let's look at professional athletes for a second, high performing athletes. You ever notice that they have a, a little mannerism, a movement that they do before they perform? They know that if they are mentally distracted, they can't function at their absolute best. This is why they have a pre-shot routine to help them focus their attention. Now, this is a skill that you can easily master, and I promise you it will yield great results. Now, once you've figured out how to eliminate your mental distractions, you're ready to move on to the next step, which is to use a process that will enable you to be a creative problem solver on demand. Now, I've broken this down into four different steps. Step one is to be absolutely clear about why you're doing what you're doing and what you wish to achieve. Step two is to identify every aspect of the task that you're working on so you can evaluate your options and commit to a course of action. Now, step three is to set a date and a time for completion of the task with a defined consequence if you fail to meet your deadline. Now, this is crucially important because this is where most of the work gets done. And finally, you have to be able to separate your emotional attachment to the work that you've done so you can objectively determine if you've succeeded or not. Now, once you've practiced this a few times, you're gonna discover that being creative on demand is no longer as mysterious as what you thought it was. It's just about doing the work.